Hi everyone, welcome back to Toys TV. The results are in from the poll and everyone wants me to make Apple iCar out of the King, number 43. I'm going to try and make it exactly like Lightning McQueen, number 95, with an apple on the hood. And maybe I'll even put lightning bolts on the front, I don't know yet. I'll have to have a look. And with the whole thing in white, with, well actually with grey wheels I guess. I have to fix those red ones. And we'll leave everything else the same and put number 43 on top, just like that there. So let's get the paint out and uh, we'll start doing that. But uh, coming up soon, we're going to take this car, this Jeep actually, sorry, to turn it into the Jurassic Park Jeep. And we're also going to take this here um, Jackson Storm and turn it into Thomasville Jackson Storm. Totally black with the red roof. And this guy here, Danny Suarez, people are giving me all kinds of suggestions. I know I used it over here in a lot of places. I can't remember where they are. But if you're a first time coming to this site, you're going to see all kinds of crazy things. There is Mac with the horns from Miss Fritter and made it look like Miss Fritter. Did that or not look? Not a bad job, eh? And here is Fabulous Miss Fritter in honor of Doc Hudson. All kinds of fabulous cars here, even fabulous Lizzie, actually. And we got a retired cars, there's retired chick eggs. And there's a fabulous Luigi and Guido. And there's one I made myself. This is uh, not in the movie. This is um, Jackson Storm, all sparkle, all full of sparkles. He was hiding in the background during my video of the Thunder Hollow Speedway that I made up. This is the car that was only in the movie for a couple of seconds on Cars 2, and then he got crushed into a cube. Remember that? This is one of the first ones I did. This is Radiator Springs Lightning McQueen. And there's a whole bunch more, even the pizza delivery truck. Planet Pizza Delivery Truck was actually made her with a bunch of Play-Doh on top. And all kinds more over here. Now, I even have a fabulous Thomas. And somebody asked me to do fabulous, not fabulous. Somebody asked me to do Gordon painted up as Thomas the Train. So I'm going to have to do that too when I find Gordon. So anyway, all the cars we did last few weeks are right here. We got all the cars from the Cars video game. There's Tater Jr. This one is really hard to find. I couldn't find some of my own. He's pretty cool. And there's Tater, Stinger. Um, let's see if that is named Gerald, Emma, El Guapo, made from Tex Dynaco. Okay, so let's move this out of the way and we'll paint this car totally white. Gray wheels, totally white. Then it won't be a long video. I'll put the apple on the hood and a couple of, you know, a couple of um, lightning bolts, a couple of spots on it. And that'll be it. Okay, let's get the paint out right now. Okay, we're all set to go. I forgot this guy's name again. That's Leland Turbo from Cars 2. And I forgot, believe it or not, I forgot this car's name. I just made it yesterday. It's Fletcher. The UK Jaguar. He was so cool in the Cars movies. I mean, in the Cars video game. Okay, let's zoom in really tight on the King. I'm going to turn this into the King. Okay, I don't have any gray paint yet, so I'm going to do the wheels in a few minutes. Let's see if I can get this done. Perfect this time. One coat of white paint should do it because he's already primed. Yes, that's good. And it's going up pretty good. I don't like this brush very much. It's kind of a kind of rough. I may have to change brushes. I don't know. Look, actually looking pretty good. What do you think? Okay. We'll stick with that brush for now, and then we may have to do the tires and the wheels because I see some gray already on the back tire, so I might get some white on the tires too. I'm just gonna put gray primer for the wheels and then fix the tires up nice and black. Now, why the Apple car? Why would someone want to do the Apple iCar out of the King? Because I only saw the Apple iCar in actually, it's in the book, the uh, Pixar Cars Encyclopedia, but it wasn't lightning, I don't think, was it? It might have been. And um, why would you think to do the king as the Apple Eye car. Can anybody tell me why they like to see that? Because I am mystified. And I got so many votes too. People like this here car. I don't know why. Um, maybe you can write it in the comments. Tell me why people want to see the Apple Eye car in the king. Maybe uh, some of you guys work for Apple or do you all have Apple iPads? What's the story? Tell me. I need to know. Anyway, thanks for watching the video yesterday. I made, uh, not yesterday, oh yeah, I guess it would be if you're watching it today. Fletcher was the one I uploaded, and that's the one I forgot the name of a few minutes ago. Pretty smart. Um, that came pretty good. Then I made another video just showing what I'm going to do next. I hope you don't mind those quick videos. They're only a couple of minutes long, but they get the point across that I'm trying to keep you guys um, pretty focused on my channel and keep coming back to watch more videos. Make sure you hit the bell. Every time you get an up I do an upload, you'll get notified then. And that should make... Uh, Make everybody happy. Get the upload notification. If you don't get the, uh, you don't hit the bell, you won't hear from me when I upload a video. That's the problem with the bell thing. And we've been playing the bell thing. Sorry about that. I hit the camera with my foot. Since it came out, because it really limits who sees the videos. And it's not a very good thing, if you ask me. I'd like to see people who subscribe be able to get the notifications. But what they did was put the the bell thing so that you have to hit the bell in order to get notified that I upload a video, which kind of defeats the purpose of subscribing. But you can't tell them that, so... It's like talking to the wall. Anyway, there we go, guys. This is 
Apple car. I don't think I'm gonna put a second coat on it. I have to look when it comes back. I have to look at it when I come back when it dries to see if it, uh, see how bad it is or how good it is. Oops, I got forgot the, the eyes part right here. Okay, here we go. The hardest part of the whole thing is doing around the eyes. How many times do you hear me say that? Every time? Yeah. Okay, here it goes. Perfect. Nice. Oh, yes, yeah, the front tube underneath here. Well, all I need now is draw the decal on it, some headlights, and the number 43 representing the king, the Apple Eye Car, in honor of the Apple Eye Car, the king. Wouldn't it be nice if we had a challenge to the Chick Hicks too? What do you think of that? Should Chick Hicks too? Leave a message if you think I should do the Chick too. Okay, listen guys, there's the Apple Eye Car. Uh, the first coat, probably gonna be the last coat of white. Then I'm gonna come back and put number 43 on the, on the roof and draw an apple on the roof. And uh, we very much to this actually, pretty quick. Thanks for watching the videos, okay? Stay right there, we'll be back in a few minutes. Okay, while we're waiting for that to dry, I went up and took a picture of the Apple Eye Car. And another picture of it. This is number 84. It's not like the McQueen running. It's just his own car by the looks of it. And I checked online on Amazon. They're sold out. One guy wanted $99 for it. And no one's going to buy that, of course. But anyway, go back to my car here, which is the Apple iCar Lightning McQueen number 95. I, number 90, I put number 95 on this because it's McQueen. I'm going to put number 43 on this because it's the king. So let's, uh, this is all ready to go. Now I'm going to do the wheels gray. And I'm going to try and paint number 43 on the roof. And do the usual thing. I'm going to hold the tire and spin it and, and put the brush right here and get the wheels gray. I may have to do the tires again eventually anyway. So that's a perfect gray wheel for that one. I'll zoom in a little more so you can see better. I know you guys like to zoom in and they're hard to do because I have to do like five different things in. Okay, I'll definitely do the back tires over black. Okay, there, perfect. I spin it around. And let's see, that one's really white on that side. How do I do that? Okay, I'll fix that up. It's black, I must put my finger under something. Here it goes. Okay, and so now this tire here, this wheel, I mean. I think I better touch the white up because uh, it doesn't seem to be completely covered and the spots missing that are white. It shouldn't be white. So let's get the white paint out again and do that again. Right here, all set to go. And um, I want to make sure it looks nice too when I'm done. Nice and thick. Because that'll look a lot better there, I'll think, getting that done. Good idea, what do you think? Okay, that's okay there. The roof has to be definitely touched up now because I got a thick layer there. Okay, and the hood. That's where the apple's gonna go. It has to look perfect. It's not so bad, but the second coat on is pretty fast. But the sides, it's kind of scritchy. Maybe it's a brush. It's the same paint. It must be a crappy brush. They're probably getting pretty much worn out. I'm cleaning them every time, but uh, sometimes it don't do a good job getting cleaned. I'm glad I did that actually. Okay, let's leave this dry and we'll come back and we'll put the apple on it. And the wheels are all done now, they're gray perfectly. I'll finish off the car in the next take. Okay, we're all set to go. First thing I'm gonna do is cover the um, tires with a nice layer of black to get them the way they should look. I must have got the white in it somehow. This is the way I do it all the time. Hold the tire, spin it if you're wondering. And this is your first time here. You probably saw that for the first time, but I'm sure most of you have seen me doing this before. Um, keep sending your ideas in. I got a lot of new ideas. Someone said Otto von Bismarck, I think his name is. And the Jeep, of course, from Jurassic Park. Park. Oops, sorry about that. And let's see. Sonny, a car named Sonny, a purple car. I have to work on that one. I, I'm not, I think I took a picture of it, but I don't know how I'm gonna do that yet. This, this tire doesn't want to spin for some reason. Well, this way it spins okay. It must be stuck on the other side. There, that was nice. And the last one in the front, I seem to have gotten some black paint on the front fender. I'll fix that in a minute. There, again on the front fender again. Okay. Which is okay. I mean, once I get this done, I can just put the car in a spot. And um, then I can work on the Apple design on the hood and the number 43 on the roof. There, perfect. Okay, there's the four wheels and tires. Turn this around. Put a little bit of white on the spots that I Kind of messed up here. And that'll be it for that. Now I'll put the car in position, just like that, for the apple, okay? Now I gotta draw the apple. Now it's gray, 
So I have to be very careful how to draw that apple. I'm gonna use a darker gray. I didn't like that gray there. So I'm gonna start off with the stem. You can see that okay. The stem of the apple right here. And now we're gonna draw like a bite out of the apple here, or the top of the apple. And come a little along here. And there's a big chunk missing from the apple right there. Okay. How's it looking so far? good there it's beautiful and I'm gonna draw some lightning bolts on this car too just for fun because it's not lightning but it's, it's gonna have to fly car and it doesn't matter Whew. nice okay and on number 95 I'm gonna do it number 43 on the hood because the king is number 43 okay here goes Big, big numbers, too. Big numbers. Did I do it on the door? Yes, I did it on the door, too. Goodness. 43. Okay, there's the, the king as Apple coming up quickly. And let's see, on the door, number 43. Okay, small letters now. Small numbers, I mean. Here it goes. It's going to be hard. Actually, number 43 here. Okay, that's pretty good. And I have a little bit of a lines, like little um, lines back here across the spoiler, maybe for fun. Oh, I can't see that. Okay, and a couple little lines here. And let's see, number 43 on this side. Here goes. I gotta pick it up now. It don't hurt anything. Sorry about the rockiness of the picture. I don't want to get my fingers all over it. Here goes. I know it's supposed to be 84, I think, is the number, but we're using the number of the cars. So if we use Chick Hicks, he'll have his number on top, 86. Okay, there's 43. A couple of lines back here. And I'll put a little line back here for fun. Okay. And we need some headlights. And the headlights, of course, are also gray. And we'll put that on right now. Here goes. I like to put on just like to see a really cool lights on the king. Almost next gen lights. What do you think? And apparently, according to the picture I have, there's orange on them too. So there's my orange. A little bit of amber, I guess. Not the not orange. The amber lights, of course, on the headlights. My signal lights. There we are. And I think that's about it, guys. What do you think of that? Let's line it up next to lightning and see how the apple car looks. I know I say this a lot, but I gotta admit, that came pretty darn good. There's Apple McQueen, and here's the king. Apple the king. Check it out, number 43 the king. Looks perfect. And put it right next to Fletcher, the car from the movie, the video game. And El Guapo. So let me hear your comments, guys. Let me know what you think of the king. And if I should do... Um, the Chick Hicks. This is a retired Chick. Maybe I should do it over again as we, as the Apple Chick, and we'll have a race or something. The three cars lined up on the track somewhere. What do you think? Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I'll make the video. Hit the like button up here. Don't forget and subscribe and hit that there other button too. That uh, you know the bell, so you get notifications all the time. And keep sending your suggestions in. And have a have a great day, everybody.